concept of disease causation. If you have seen my first video of this medical nursing unit one, uh, we have discussed concept of health, its wellness dimensions, and various theories related to the health. So in this video, we will be discussing about disease and the theories based on the disease causation. So what is a disease? It's a dynamic process. It is just opposite to the health. So health is a perfect harmony, whereas disease denotes a disharmony from a normal functioning body. So as per the dictionary, disease is a condition of body or some part of body or an organ which its function or disrupted. So according to ecological point of view, disease is a moral adjustment of the human behavior, the human organism to the environment. So there are a lot of theories discussed related to the disease causation. In that popular disease uh, theories we will be discussing here, the first one is germ theory, epidemiological triad, multifactorial causation, web causation, diverse epidemiological model. So we will see one by one. We all know what is germ theory. If a disease is caused by a germ, we say it as all the diseases caused by um, germs. This is the first concept which was describing how the disease is formed. So according to this theory, there is one single specific cause for every disease. So there is one to one relationship between the causative agent and the disease. Here I have given an example of diphtheria due to cornibacterium diphtheria. So this theory says one problem is caused by one germ. But we in, when we do a lot of research and studies, we came to know that there are diseases which are not caused by which are not caused by germ alone yes and the germ is i mean the bacteria or the virus is not the one and only reason for the diseases the next one is epidemiological trial after that the theory was discussed and redefined and Another theory is produced which is called epidemiological triad. You all know what is triad means, the three things which connects. So here we are connected with the triangle of environment, agent and host. So it is not only the host, it, the host even though the host is there, sometimes the agent, um, sorry, it's not only the agent, it is even though the agent is there, the host will not get an infection if the environment is a healthy environment. So these three things are linked together. Here you can see what are all called agents that is bacteria, virus, fungi and amoeba. All the germs are represented as agent. And the host is has a person who has, it can, the host has several factors like age, sex, health, behavior, immunity and genetic makeup. So these are all may affect the cause of disease. It may be depends upon the age and the sex of the person whether the disease can be I mean he will be affected with the diseases. And the next one is environment. Environment includes sanitation, water, air, noise and customs. Customs and culture, behavioral patterns. So these three are interlinked linked and related to the each other for causing a disease. So this is called epidemiological triad. The next theory, multifactorial theory, multifactorial causation theory. So what if this, this theory describes is there are a lot of factors which are linked together or related to cause it or produce a disease. For example, if you take a coronary artery disease. So the coronary artery disease is caused by various factors. It is not only an agent or a germ. So there are a lot of diseases like diabetes, hypertension, coronary artery disease, which is caused by um, what? Not by germs. It is by some multiple factors. So what this says is the effect is due to different causes. So there are a lot of factors which causes the disease. Next one is web causation theory. It is given by Mac Mohan and Perk. According to them, the ne disease never depends upon single isolated cause, rather it develops from a chain of causation. So what these people said, that it's not, the disease is not related to one single cause. The chain of factors are related to form a disease. So here you can see ischemic heart disease. How it is formed, if there are a lot of factors related 
or caused by the leads to ischemic heart disease like age, education, income. Okay, physical activity, fat intake, overweight, alcohol and smoking. So all these factors are interlinked to cause type 2 diabetes, cholesterol, blood pressure and these things may all have a risk of getting them into a ischemic heart, heart, heart disease which is called web causation theory. The next one is diverse epidemiological model. So there was epidemiological model what it says it's composed of major categories that is human biology. So your your human body, lifestyle, the way you live, environment, the people around you and the surrounding and the customs around you, health system. So you're coming under which health system? Are you approachable for a immediate health system or health care facilities? So these all are included or playing a major part in becoming a disease or getting into an unhealthy status. All these factors influence health status positively or negatively. So human biological, epidemiological triad and they include genetic inheritance, complex physiological systems, factors related to maturation and aging. So lifestyle factors include daily living like activities, customs, tradition, health habits. So the human biological factor, what we discussed here in the four major categories, the first one is human biology, talks about epidemiology, germ, genetic inheritance, everything. Lifestyle factors discuss about your tradition, custom, activity and health habits. And the environmental factors include physical, biological, social and spiritual components around yourself. Healthcare system, it is the availability of the healthcare system, accessibility of the healthcare system, adequacy and use of healthcare services at different levels. So these all will cause a disease. So that is what this diverse epidemiological model talks about. So these all the theories we discussed regarding the disease causation. So when we talk about disease causation, the spectrum of disease we need to discuss. It is the graphical representation of variation in the manifestation of the disease. So if we see the spectrum of disease, like in one end there will be illness, the other end there will be health. And in the middle the people will be living. So if you move towards the health, you are in a healthy lifestyle. If you move backwards towards the illness, you are in a risk of getting an illness. So at one end of the disease spectrum are subclinical infections which are not ordinarily identified at the other end are fatal illnesses. In the middle of the spectrum lie illness ranging from severity from mild to severe. So the human will be moving in between the spectrum throughout their life. This is how the spectrum of disease is explained. Next is iceberg phenomenon which is very very important and a popular phenomenon. Even nowadays in coronavirus, we, are, we all know that what we are noticing and we, what we are reported with the cases or is like the iceberg phenomenon. So to this, the disease can be closely related with an iceberg. The floating tip of the iceberg represents what the physician sees in the community. Say so what are all the cases we think it is positive in the community is. It's just only the top of the iceberg which can be seen by the physician but under the water level there are pre-symptomatic or asymptomatic patients who are living not exposing the diseases to the physician so this is how the disease is seen that is iceberg phenomenon so when a floating ice floats when ice floats the top part which is open to the people is visible that but there will be the half of the portion which has been under the water which is unseen so unnoticed cases okay which especially fits this time now COVID-19 cases which we have noticed now is an iceberg phenomenon so what is the role of nurse in the disease causation so the role of nurse in prevention is, is nothing but prevention of disease. So the nurse has to participate in early diagnosis and treatment. So you have to identify the cases early before they go become very sick and spread other diseases to others and treatment 
notification of certain specific diseases especially communicable diseases you have to notify to the certain authorities identify source of infection and method of spread you have to identify the infection and spread method of spread health education of people in general control of communicable disease so these are all the role of nurse in prevention of a disease so in summary we have seen what is disease definition of disease different concepts or theories of disease causation we have seen spectrum of illness how the person lies in the spectrum and iceberg phenomenon and rose of role of nursing prevention of disease thank you